Hey, Marilyn, how you doing over here? Pretty good. You about ready to go? Yeah, I'll... Let me check mm -hmm. your harness, make sure it's double back. Yeah, that looks good. These are too. This is going to be a little bit harder than anything you've done before. But I think you're going to be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> how you feeling? <laughs> I think I'll be able to. Decided to trust him He gave me every reason To give up all my sin I know what you're feeling I've been there before If you just let him in He'll be waiting at the door I got a reason to walk the street narrow I got a reason to fire like an arrow I got a life that's always worth living You gotta come along You feel you should be running though you know you're standing still you know you could be something if you only knew his will emotions running wild and you're chomping at the bit try to work the pieces but they don't seem to fit i know what you're feeling i've been there before if you just let him in he'll be waiting at the door i got a reason to walk the street There's a problem that's all too prevalent in our society. It's an addiction that's rarely talked about, but it's one that can wreck lives and destroy marriages. It's the problem of pornography. In this program, featuring a riveting interview with serial killer Ted Bundy just hours before he was executed, Dr. James Dobson talks about pornography and tells why it's addictive, progressive, and deadly. My greatest concern, and one that I want to focus on a little bit with you all, is the addiction of pornography. Now, you know that hard drugs are addictive, and you know that marijuana can get a hold of you uh, emotionally and so on, but very few people realize just how addictive pornography really is. Not so much for girls, but very much for guys. I am convinced that pornography, for some boys, not everyone again, for some boys, pornography is as addictive as crack cocaine. One exposure to a 13-year-old boy at just the right time, and he will grab that, and it will become very much a part of him, and will be there for the rest of his life. Interesting thing about pornography, it, it functions very much like drugs. You take a little bit and it goes a long ways. But you bore with that and you take a little more and you need more and you need more and you need more. So that you begin with soft core pornography. That's Playboy, Penthouse, it's airbrushed nudity, it's things like that. So they call it soft core pornography. It's not illegal, it's available everywhere. In fact, uh, the research shows teenagers are the number one buyers in the entire Western world, the number one buyers of not only softcore, but hardcore pornography. I served on the Attorney General's Commission on Pornography for 18 months. Uh, it was one of the most miserable experiences of my life. Our responsibility was to evaluate this stuff and make recommendations to the government. And uh, the material that we had to watch is infinitely worse than this. I won't even describe it to you, but it's, it's terrible. And then, then what happens with an addiction to pornography 
is you go from there to a little fire trail, a, a little barrier, where you've seen everything that a man and woman can do together. Now what? Because, see, one of the characteristics of, of pornography is that you bore with it. This stage becomes boring very quickly. And then, then you move on to another one. And you're walking down this path. What happens when you get to the point that you've seen it all? Not everybody, again, but a percentage.